The Russian army destroyed up to 15 percent of houses in 35 days of war. The city of Kharkiv is still shelled and 30 percent of inhabitants is cut off from natural gas supply due to damage to the pipeline east of the city. In the city of Bravada, Russian shelling destroyed the food storage. Frozen food was supposed to be distributed to civilians. My village is 30 kilometers from Bravada towards Chernihiv. Yes, the Russians have been there since March 8th. When they came, they shot at people they came across. They went around the houses. They were not at my place. There was a lot of bombing. Many houses were destroyed. I live 12 kilometers from here. The Russian army came there. They set up in people's backyards. Every now and then there was an exchange of fire. The Ukrainians were shooting very precisely, destroying their tanks. I heard them fly apart. For 20 days we sat with a child in a cellar. Can you imagine that? The child asks to eat and I can't give it to him, because if I come out of hiding they will shoot him immediately. They enter houses and take everything, even food. They rape our girls, even 10-year-olds. They are monsters. I thank Poland for humanitarian aid. Now I took some food and there are signs of everything. Poland, Poland, thank you very, very much. Not everybody left early. Nobody wants to leave their home. And why should we run away? After all, this is our land. It was not us who came here. On the first day of the war, military units and strategic objects were shelled. Our inhabitants felt both the explosions, the shelling and the personal losses. Before the war, Bravada had 140,000 inhabitants. From the registration of data from water or gas meters, we see that about 40,000 remain in the city. The armed forces of Ukraine, together with the territorial defense, act moderately to secure the safety of our civilian citizens and knock out the enemy. The armed forces are developing a counterattack. They are working effectively. So I hope that in the near future we will be able to completely liberate the Kiev region from the Bravada side. Southeastern city of Mariupol is besieged and constantly shelled. From the beginning of the Russian assault, approximately 5,000 people have died, including 210 children. City council assesses 90 percent of buildings damaged and and 40 percent destroyed, including schools, hospitals and factories. On March 16th, a friend of ours was driving a car and a bullet hit him straight in the throat. Five minutes later, he died. I was in that car. I took him home, but he could not be saved. We are cooking here because there is no gas, no water and no food. This is our oasis where we hid from the bombings. Ukraine Farm Agency reports that despite the difficulties, the army is fighting and repelling the enemy in many directions. The Russians have already lost over 17,000 troops, 614 tanks, 1,700 armored vehicles, 131 helicopters and 135 aircraft. Due to the bombardment, this night of attacks proved to be the most difficult for the residents of Kharkiv, Chernihiv and Luhansk regions. In three villages in the Donetsk region, the Russians used phosphorus weapons, injuring 11 residents, including four children.